After almost three years of using VS Code, I have decided to completely stop using it and uninstall it from my computer in favor of Cursor AI, which is this new super hyped AI powered code editor. So today I want to tell you why I have made this switch as well as give my full list of honest pros and cons of using Cursor AI as someone who has now used it for around two or three weeks to build my new app. Because while I have moved on to it, it is not perfect and there are a couple of issues that I do want to highlight to you. And by the way, this video is not sponsored by them. There is no affiliate link or anything like that. I'm not even going to leave a link to Cursor AI. You're going to need to find it on your own on the internet. This is just my honest thought as someone who has used it because I think that this tool could be potentially really helpful to you as well as a programmer. So first of all, what is Cursor AI and how to use it? Well, the great thing about Cursor AI is when you download it from their app store, you can essentially import all of your existing VS Code settings directly into Cursor AI. So when you open it up, it will actually look exactly the same as VS Code. And the way this kind of works here is that we have a few things going on here. I have a project opened up right here on Cursor AI, which looks exactly the same as VS Code, except we also have this chat window on on the right here where essentially if you don't see this the way you open this up on mac is by pressing command l that is how you toggle this chat window on and off and this is essentially like a chat gpt window you have access to directly within your code editor and from here you can first of all choose which llm model you want to use for example here i'm choosing gpt4 and what's really interesting about this is that the difference to normal chat gpt or normal llms is that this chat window actually has context so it actually understands and it can read and read write your code files right here that you have open in your code editor and the way this works is right here you can obviously talk to it like you can talk to any llm but you can give it context by clicking on this plus button right here and then you can give it files that you essentially want it to understand when you're giving it commands so you can choose this app.js file for example right here and then i can tell it for example add a form that asks the user for an email for example and now you can essentially read this file and plug the code directly into the file and the way this works is that it gives this answer right here and it gives the code right here and rather than having to copy paste it and sort of like splice this code into the code file as you would normally have to do with a normal llm you can simply click right here on apply and then it's essentially going to go and plug that code directly into the code file now it's not going to directly put it in there you're essentially going to get this window as if you're reviewing like a pull request on github where you can see exactly the changes that the ai has made and then you can either accept or reject them based on whether that was exactly what you were looking for and if you click accept the code will now simply be applied directly into your file which is super super helpful so that is the main feature and the main way that i use cursor ai but there are a few other things you can do here let's say you have a completely new project that you're starting what you can do is click command i to open up this composer and then i'm going to click on here to open control panel and here what cursor ai can do is actually generate multiple files so let's say you want to do something like create a react plus django web app you can essentially just go ahead and create all the files for both your back end and your front end directly using ai without you having to generate all these files yourself directly so this is what i would do if you're just starting out a project what i would normally often do before is just give ChatGPT a prompt and get it to give me sort of a starting point for the files but i would have to go and generate these man manually and sort of copy paste the code here i don't have to do that because as we can see right here cursor ai can just do it for me which again speeds up the process of building a project really really much and the third feature that is really useful is if you have a particular part of the code that you want to edit and add something into you can simply highlight that code and as you can see right here we have this pop-up add to chat you can click on or you can do shift command l to open up this window in here to get this code file into the chat window or you can simply click on command k to simply give instructions directly within your code file right here so for example make this take a username for example like this and it's gonna change the file right here what you can also do is when you go back into the chat window in here you're gonna click on this mention tab right here so you can also give it things like documentation so let's say you're working with an api and you want the chat to understand the api you can give it the documentation by giving a link to it or something like that and then the ai will read through it and it will actually understand the docs when you then go and build out your application and give it commands and things like this so it's a pretty cool editor and the biggest pro of using it so getting into the pros and cons is that this is essentially like vs code except just with 
all these AI features added directly in the code editor. So you don't have to even learn a whole new code editor. You can just take your existing knowledge and your experience with using VS Code and simply apply them directly, except you also now have this extension of using AI. It's kind of funny what they've done. They just literally copied VS Code and just added these AI features into it, which is pretty smart on their part because this means that it's so much easier for you as a developer to transition into using this code editor. And the other big pro is that this simply makes coding projects so much so much faster because you don't have to go through the process of copying code and figuring out where you need to paste it and things like this you can simply give the command and it will apply the code directly into your file but getting into the few cons that i found from using this first of them is that sometimes this is a bit clunky i found that especially once my files get quite large sometimes it can lag a bit it's not as smooth to use as vs code i think that will improve over time and it's not a big deal by any means it's something that i've noticed and just sometimes the ai does doesn't quite work properly like I'm trying to apply code and it will try to put it into the wrong file it will do some undesirable things like sometimes when I'm applying code from the AI chat window into my file it will do things like remove console logs that I have there that I specifically wanted to have there for like debugging purposes and things like this so then I have to like individually go and reject and accept the different bits that it's edited not like a massive deal but sometimes it's a bit annoying and sometimes also when I copy paste code into the chat window that I would often do with the normal chat GPT it will just completely ignore it it's as if it fails to read the code that I've added into the chat window and it just doesn't understand it which has led to a couple of kind of frustrating moments again not like a massive deal or anything like that but these are some of the cons and the issues that i have found from using this so far and especially for beginners the thing to keep in mind here is that you don't want to use this as a crutch you still absolutely need to understand the code that you're writing and the reason that i am able to use this so much and actually improve my productivity so much is because i already know how to code i already understand what i am coding i understand how to make decisions about what code to tell this ai to write for me and this is really really crucial to understand as a developer if, now if you're looking for a full program to teach you programming from start to finish especially if you want to become a python developer then i do have my paid program down below where i will take you from absolute beginner into an employable python developer in less than six months i will teach you all the technical skills that you need i'll teach you how to put that into a resume that employers will actually be impressed by and actually how to navigate the entire job hunting process and things like this as someone who has done it so if you're interested in that you can check that down below in the description and with that said the real big theme here with these ai powered code editors and all these ai tools that are coming out is that we're moving more and more towards the future where coding becomes less about the act of actually writing out code, it becomes more and more about what I call natural language coding, where you're simply giving AI natural language commands and the AI is the tool that actually generates all the code. And this is something that is changing the coding world a lot. Coding is changing going into 2025. I actually made a full video on this entire topic of how I think coding is changing going into 2025 and the new opportunity that this brings with it that I haven't seen many people talk about. So I highly recommend you watch this video right here if you're interested in that. With that said, I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one.